With demand for luxury residential apartments in Manhattan increasing, and a severe lack of land available for development, we've seen the rise of super slender skyscrapers across the city skyline. While this trend originated and first became identifiable in New York, through structures like 432 Park Avenue and 53 West 53rd Street, the phenomenon is no longer limited to the city and is beginning to have global repercussions. Around the world, developers are now striving to maximize floor areas and value from small sites by employing the super slender high-rise technique. But while such an approach does improve return on investment, the limited site access and additional engineering associated with building these towers makes them much more expensive to develop. Now in Australia, contractor Hickory Group have pioneered a construction method that uses prefabricated modules to improve quality, streamline the building process and reduce overall construction costs. While the projects using this method have so far been modest in comparison to the super-tall giants of New York City, Hickory are about to take their prefabricated building method to new heights in the form of Australia's most slender skyscraper, the 60-storey Collins House in Melbourne. Collins House is located in the heart of Melbourne on the city's prestigious Collins Street. Famed for its historic streetscape and home to some of the country's tallest buildings, Collins Street and Melbourne as a whole is in the midst of a high-rise building boom, the likes of which Australia has never seen. With soaring demand for high-rise living and commercial vacancies at an all-time low, at least 20 skyscrapers are currently under construction, including the city's tallest building, the 317-metre Australia 108. The demand has driven land values to record highs, with a modest site just a block from Collins House recently selling for over 140 million Australian dollars. Now, developers are pushing engineering to the extreme in order to make the most of the small parcels of land they are able to acquire. The Collins House site is a mere 12.5 metres wide. Fronting the bustling Collins Street and with occupied commercial buildings on either side, developers Golden Age had no choice but to build upward in order to maximise floor area. As part of the development, air rights were purchased from an adjoining building along the eastern boundary allowing architects Bates Smart to design a 4.5-metre cantilever over the neighbouring property and increase the size of each floor by some 35% from the 14th storey upwards. With only one access point to the site, manoeuvring plant, materials and other equipment during construction was always going to be a struggle. While the first 14 storeys of the tower are constructed from concrete, Hickory's prefabricated structural units form the remainder of the skyscraper's height. The use of prefabricated techniques has had a remarkable impact on the quality, speed and level of safety on the Collins House scheme. With the majority of components assembled off-site and craned into place within an hour of delivery, the project's programme has been reduced by 30%. These prefabricated modules also reduce the extent of external safety screens and barriers required, as the building is enclosed once the module is in place. Being assembled off-site under controlled factory conditions allowed the modules to be inspected and any defects rectified prior to delivery, drastically improving the quality of the finished product and further reducing downtime on-site. Offering 271 luxury apartments across its 60 floors, as well as a host of residential amenities, Hickory's modular system provided a more flexible floor plate that can be adapted across the levels, depending on the intended use of each space. Currently rising toward its 190 meter total height, Collins House will become one of the tallest prefabricated buildings in the world 
when it completes in 2019. While Collins House is some way off the 426 metre height of New York's 432 Park Avenue, the slenderness ratio of the two structures is almost the same, at 1 to 16 and 1 to 15 respectively, making Collins House a powerful case study for the prefabrication of other super slender towers around the world. With developers and contractors constantly searching for new ways to reduce building costs, keep standards high and speed up construction, the success of pioneering methods like this and on a building like Collins House could set new benchmarks for the industry in the years ahead. If you enjoyed this video and would like to get more from the definitive video channel for construction, subscribe to the B1M.